。那 professional Asian welcome to failure management. Today, 呢 I will teach you a pro level move how to cause emotional damage without even being in the room. Lesson one: Do the laundry before I get back. Oh, is this emotional Stephen, damage? Make sure you、now? do the laundry before I get home. Okay? Okay, I won't. You know he will. Am I supposed to do something? Uh oh. Hmm. Nah, I swear, like I feel like there's something I'm forgetting. I can sense the whooping, but I did the dishes, vacuumed the carpet, unfroze the chicken. Yeah. Okay. There's nothing. There's always one thing. One thing you forget. The next five minutes will be emotional damage. Go. Bro. Rushing, rushing to get all that shit in before the parents get home. Now we have him trapped. He will not be able to maneuver this situation successfully. There's still wet. Smell like minimum wage. Lesson two: Using examples. When you want your failure to do anything or not do anything, you can always convince them by using an example. Bonus: They don't have to be realistic at all. In fact, the more ridiculous, the more convincing. Hey, can I go to the movies with Brett? Oh yeah, you can go. Oh, you can go if you want. But、uh, remember, your your neighbor's kid. He went to the movie. Wait a movie minute!、Oh. I just realized he called him your failure. What the fuck? Lost. Went home with the wrong family. Now he lives in Bangkok. Bangkok, fantastic place. You probably enjoy it. Bam. Got him. <gasps> Is that cold water? Oh no! You can you can drink as much as you want. I knew a kid in sixth grade told us in his class, and then he grew up to an adult, four foot eleven. Tell you what happened? He drank cold water, like froze all his high off. Like, no, you no problem. You can go ahead and drink cold water. I'm four ten. I'm four ten. Yeah, I I am. That's true. <laughs> I used to drink a lot of cold water. <laughs> I wanna play some PlayStation. Of course, go play the PlayStation, lah.、Like, no problem. But I have to, I have to warn you, though. Okay. I、uh, knew this friend back at home. Same as you, lah.、Like, playing PlayStation in the front room, hit by a car. So、uh, you know it's safer in the in the back, away from the window where your piano is. So while you're there, you might as well practice. Because. The logic of the example defeats all reasoning. Your failure let will receive maximum emotional damage. One time, when I was a kid, my mom said something like that to me. That's funny. She said, she said you shouldn't spend all your time in front of the house, you know, because if you're in the front of the house, it's dangerous because it's close to the road. <laughs> Told me. Now go to the dining room and practice piano. <laughs> What the fuck? <laughs> Very effective with this technique. I used to play the piano. I used to play the piano. I don't play the piano anymore. You too can be managing your failure like a pro. Thank you for subscribing. See you in the next episode of Failure Management.